but I'm speaking very sincerely, Richard Howitt, MEP, representing the Socialist and Democrat group in the European Parliament. And I'm honoured to be speaking at this Congress and to wish your party every success in the forthcoming elections. Throughout Europe, conservative parties are failing their countries. Our political mission, and yours, is to stop people being attracted further to the right, to extremism and to ultranationalism, but instead to vote for social democracy, a social democratic message which says that economic prosperity can be matched with social justice. A vote for SDSM at this election is a vote for healthcare. It's a vote for education. It's a vote for jobs. It's a vote for public services. It is a vote to improve the standard of living for everyone who lives in Macedonia. A vote for SDSM at this election is a vote for a party which seeks to bring together all freedom-loving citizens of, of Macedonia, irrespective of their ethnicity, their religion, their socio-economic background, or their gender. Indeed, these are our common social democratic values. But as we know, this election is also about whether this country is truly committed to democracy, to transparency, and to the rule of law. Zoran, Radmila, I congratulate you for your leadership in overcoming the political and institutional crisis which has afflicted this country. You have brought colour to Macedonian politics. But with my fellow European Parliament mediators from other groups who are associated with other parties in this country, together we say that these elections must offer a real choice and provide the prospect of a real change of power if that is the will of the people. All parties should abide by the commitments made in the Prishno Agreement. That includes support for the Special Prosecutor's Office, its mandate and activities without interruption, without pressure, without interference. All allegations of abuse of power must be investigated. Abuses only take place when power goes unchecked. And these elections are not simply a test of politicians in Macedonia, but a test of whether power is indeed subject to democratic check in this country, and it must be. <laughs> Friends, none of us from outside want to interfere in your country. We simply want to build a partnership based on common values. But you know that I've been intimately involved now for six years trying to move Macedonia towards EU membership, first as rapporteur and now as parliamentary mediator. It is why I've sat through all night negotiations with your political leaders. It's why I've stood at your mass rallies, celebrated the 10th anniversary of the Ohrid Agreement, encouraged your civil society to be genuinely independent. How I met your MPs, forcibly removed from your parliamentary chamber at gunpoint and sat in the homes of the families suffering grief from lost sons from the terrorist attack in Kumanovo. How I brought my own family to Macedonia to show that my commitment was a personal one how I sat with Greek politicians arguing for a compromise to the name dispute that would be fair to all. I believe that the wiretap scandal has fundamentally questioned 
whether Macedonia's democracy is ready for Europe. But I believe the only future for this country is with Europe and that the conduct of these elections can help answer that question positively for Europe 